Welcome guys, if you're new, this is Ollie and I'm Laura and this year we're tackling a big renovation to-do list as we enter our third year doing up our Victorian home. We have some big projects to tackle and some like today on the smaller side. Actually, this one is so small, it's really a cupboard, a Harry Potter cupboard under the stairs. I really hope you guys aren't claustrophobic. This video is also sponsored by the wonderful Squarespace who I'll chat more about later on. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all well. Sit back and relax because today's video is gonna be a makeover. A makeover of our understairs cupboard, our cupboard of doom, our Harry Potter cupboard, and certainly the place where things go to never be seen again. I'm a little bit embarrassed to show you the before, but it was basically a space that we were totally underutilizing. It was full of rubbish, the only place where you could put things was on the floor, so naturally everything just gravitated to the floor and started stacking up. We couldn't find anything, we couldn't use it usefully, and then what started to happen is stuff just started trickling throughout the house. So our coats would get left on the banisters, or on the stairs, or in the hallway, instead of going somewhere useful. So the aim is to turn this space into a beautiful, fresh area where we can come in, dump our coats, dump our shoes, place the hoover and things that are useful to us, hopefully in a much more practical way. So let's get in and start it. the area is cleared I don't know if it's better or worse right now I've started to try and just bring a few more bits in to try and figure out the best way to utilize the space so I've got the um, hoover <laughs> down there and I'm thinking of putting a shelf over here to put our shopping baskets on and this is the boarding paneling that we've got and I'm just trying to measure it the best so that I can utilize using the less the least possible to save on costs and also using wood that we have down in the shed so I'm gonna go and look for that now this is quite fun actually we're shopping our shed <laughs> I'm enjoying it it's got this laminate flooring left over or vinyl flooring left over from our bathroom um, we've got these which may seem a bit weird but I'm wondering whether we can bodge together that paneling and I was also looking at the shelving that he picked up for oh it's, yeah like pennies wasn't it literally for it so hopefully with a combination of stuff that we have in here we can pull something together but now you know why I keep every scrap of wood. And that is why it is looking don't like don't this don't in here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're shopping shed number two, and we've also got this flooring from one of our spare rooms. We're wondering whether that might go in there, because the laminate looks a little bit small. However, that's it's more of a task. We've got to put underlay under, and it goes a bit higher. <laughs> no? Chuck it in. Chuck it in. I mean, we've got underlay there. We've got to cut it. Like The vinyl would be easier. Let's see if it fits. And that's option B. It's a good option, option B. B, though. And so here is my supercharged sketch that I did. I always do it whilst standing next to the room. Um, and I always write down the things that I absolutely need and want. So I still want to keep coats in there, shoes, which we don't actually store in there at all, umbrellas, uh, my picnic box, shopping bags, and perhaps paints. So this is where the door will be and I want to put two shelves for shoes, hooks, as I said the new light and then I want to put some big baskets down here that can take like picnic blankets or just be like a catch-all for umbrellas or any other bits like that. I want to hopefully keep everything off the floor, I don't want to put anything on the floor over here and then I want to kind of box it in because this, this space is just a little bit useless for us and then put some deep shelving in the back here so for bits like paints um just other storage and hopefully i'm hoping my picnic basket will go up there too And lay down. So 
As I was cutting the flooring, Ollie was putting in this piece of MDF, which our paneling is gonna sit on top of. We had this in the shed, so this is just like, kind of hopefully a money saving way of making sure, because the paneling is quite expensive. Um, and we're just gonna put that on top. And then we'll also put MDF on the top. What a transformation. <laughs> good job. It's good, isn't it? You're good at that job. We've just popped in that one and put a support here for a shelf going across and then also cut this one down so that hopefully these two should fit nicely along this wall and hide this terrible stuff here. Now that these are painted, we are gonna glue and nail gun them in on top of these pieces of MDF. We are boarded at the bottom now and at the top and we've got some odd shaped ones going on here but this is cost saving because we really only wanted to buy three of these boards. Now we're just figuring out where the hooks are going, what bit of wood they're going on. We've just been down to the shed to get this. And Ollie is demanding that his coat must be the one that we pick the height off of. It's the tallest coat. I don't think it is, but... It's the tallest coat that is in You areas. care about. <laughs> <laughs> the issues of working in a small space. I can't really hold it whilst no, holding no. this. Hold on, if I take that one. Yeah. I can swap hands here. One. There we go. Yeah, awesome. yeah, that won't down. be on the we shelf. We come down a little bit more, to be honest. No, I'm sure my coats will be longer, but yeah. Or do you want to get one of yours to make it? No, I mean that'll be fine. That still covers the join, and that goes in the middle. Happy, I'm so, happy. You're happy with that? Mm-hmm. It's too short. No, that's where I cut it. I didn't want to have it all the way to the end, and then it was going to make a bit of a weird line there, so I cut it back. <laughs> Is that okay? <laughs> It looks, it looks too, it looks too short. <laughs> it's gonna have to be okay, because we haven't got more of that work. <laughs> oh dear. That's how it's supposed to be. Really? Yeah. I mean, that looks a little bit off if you ask me. No. Okay, we're making that feature, are we? Feature. Okay. Great. And I just wanted to pop in to say a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Squarespace. If you're new around here, then Squarespace is the all-in-one platform where you can create a website. Their platform is unbelievably user-friendly, so if you have no tech experience like I do, you will be able to make your own website and maintain it without having to get in any additional help, which is amazing because it makes it extremely personal to you, but also you can keep it much more up-to-date because you can go into the back end and change it and update it whenever you would like. I run my website through them, which I use to create a brand for my content creation, as well as a blog, a contact page, and a place where you can shop my Instagram posts. So it makes it extremely multi-use, whatever you're looking for, whether it's a portfolio, a website, an e-commerce site, or a blog or somewhere just to put information like for a wedding or an event, then I would highly recommend checking out Squarespace. They do this amazing free trial, which gives you a load of time to be able to go into the back end, see how it works, have a look at all of their templates, put in your information, your photography, see how your website would look, see just how easy it is to use. And then when you're ready to go live, you can use my link, which will get you 10% off your first website or domain. But I would highly recommend checking them out if you're looking to create a space on the web. But for now, let's get back to that end stairs cupboard. This is where we are now. All of the top is neatened off. This wire is gonna be tacked down to this one so that you don't see it anymore. The bench has gone in. Well, it's not really a bench, it's a shelf. Um, we're gonna have a bit of trim going across here just to neaten it all off. This space here is perfectly measured for wellies. I think we're gonna try and box this in just to hide it slightly. Obviously it won't be totally boxed in, we'll be able to access it because that is our gas. And then over here, in the more creepier corner, we're also gonna be putting a shelf over there so our hoover can go under here 
um, storage and bags and stuff can go in here and then we can also put stuff at the top here, hopefully shopping bags and stuff. So my job today is to tackle the sloping roof, hopefully make it look a little bit prettier. Saving time and money, we didn't want to take it down. So I'm literally just gonna use this plaster to slap over it and hopefully make it look a little bit more straight. It's not gonna be perfect, but it'll definitely be better. It always amazes me what a few licks of paint can do. A few, actually quite a few licks of paint can do. <laughs> Gotta put this one up tonight and hopefully also put up the light. We're using these magnet, like magnetic pulls, do you call them? <laughs> no, they're just mechanical fastenings. They're called um, button fixes, but they are really, really good. We use them in our bathroom for the sunny flow to hide it. So we're gonna use it on here because obviously we'll need to access our gas meter and then we're just popping some MDF in front of it to hide it away. I'm trying to cook dinner. Ollie has turned the lights off for everything. He's got his phone here to give a little bit of light, but it's up, it's not yet wired in, but that is the plan now, hopefully. Anyway, I need to get back to this. Wow, it's really dark. Moment of truth, dinner's ready. Perfect timing. Dun, 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 dun. I mean, the bulb is terrible. <laughs> I thought it didn't work to start. <laughs> yeah, it's working, but the bulb is terrible. So we put this little switchy switch on here, which means that when the door closes, it will automatically turn it off and on. Uh, obviously, we're going to be neatening this up, but the wires that we're hanging have gone. Tomorrow, I need to get a new bulb, because that ain't going to work, is it? It's terrible. <laughs> Bit of oh, well. climax, isn't it? It looks pretty though. It does look nice. Actually, it's really nice in there with the panelling and the yeah. light coming down on it. Okay, now we can eat. It is the most beautiful sunny day today. As you can see, before 10 days, pretty much rain. I'm spending it here. The best place to spend a really sunny day. The only annoying thing now that the electrics are done is that I can't turn off the light. It always stays on. So the lighting is going to be really orange, whereas it adjusts quite nicely when the light's off. It's going to take time. Can you see it looks like a normal room without the light on, but I'm going to have to go with super orangey today. Last little bit to do. I need to neaten this, paint this, paint this bit down here, which is the box hiding the gas, and then I can actually get everything back in here. Hooks need to go on shoe solutions need to go on. Because the aim is obviously to make the most of the storage, I've got some cool shoe storage things from Amazon and we're gonna be hanging a lot from the walls this time so that hopefully stuff doesn't get collected on the floor anymore. Don't hold me to that though. And probably the best thing about renovating in this space is that we have these hinges that you can just take off so we don't have to have this annoying door in the hallway. I picked up these hooks from Amazon and they're gonna go on both sides on this bit of wood. I'm thinking I'm gonna center them in the middle of each bit of paneling. Sorry, showing you in here. Literally, just look at me, hang on. <laughs> this is where my head's at while I try and show you. <laughs> I'm definitely measuring to see that that's exactly in the middle of there. Not but doing it by eye is just as good. No, I need to find a bigger head. Smaller head. Smaller head. Got a teeny tiny one on there now. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully this will work. Come on. Are you serious? Okay, 
Let's use all our might. Okay. Yes! Okay. We have one in. That wasn't the most successful, but you know. It's in. It's a little bit later. I've been off to the shops because I'm gonna do a DIY that I wasn't expecting to do, but it's an area that I am just not loving in here. So I think it's partly because the light's just gone up. I knew this wall wasn't gonna be amazing, but it's bugging me. I know it's fine, but I'm gonna cover it up. Now what I've decided is that I'm gonna do a memo board over here because there's often points where Ollie and I um, have like a delivery slip that we need to put in here. We also have permit parking, um, visitor slips, and little bits like that that I think would be really useful. And it actually utilizes this space quite well and hopefully will hide it too. Now I tried to find a ready-made one, but of course there were none about when I wanted one. So instead, I popped it on Elm. I picked up some foam. I'm gonna do it fabric because I think I need it to be quite flexible for that wall because it's not perfectly straight. I've got some leftover fabric here that I'm gonna cover this with. And I've just been to the shed to find some wood. So I've decided on a size. I'm gonna cut it out, see what it looks like. I've got the staple gun to hopefully staple it all together. And somewhere in this house, I know I have some like hessian ribbon. So I'm gonna use that around it too. Hopefully, this is literally on a whim, this DIY. So let's hope that it turns out and looks good. If not, um, you probably won't see it in the final reveal. <laughs> so to make my life easy, I'm just gonna do it to the same width as this, which is about 56, but I'll do the wood to 55. And then I'm gonna cut this down slightly, just measured to about 75. So I need to cut the wood first. Not a bad fit really. I wanted a little bit of a lip, hopefully so that the fabric curves around the edge slightly. So I'm just gonna cut the bottom bit there, just to eye, you know, I love measuring things. Yeah, I reckon about that will do. Okay, so it's a lot later now and I'm not even exaggerating. It took me nearly two hours to find the freaking staples to go in here but I found them, they're in there. Hopefully I can get this all attached um, and then I'm gonna um, attach the ribbon onto it, but let's do this. So I definitely could have done that a little bit neater perhaps, but it's on, it looks good. I hope it looks better up on the wall and it doesn't look too thick. Um, but now I'm gonna put this hessium across it so that we can actually put things on it. And then I'm literally just gonna staple these in exactly like that on the back. Ta-da! I did it. I mean, if I hadn't have not been able to find the staples, this would have taken a matter of a few minutes. Now we can pop things in, keep them safe underneath the stairs, bits of paper that we might need, and also it hides that wall. Now, let's see how it actually looks in situ. I am gonna have to find a way of attaching it to the ceiling, because obviously um, it's on a bit of a slant. Why, thank you. I have been on far too many surprise trips out to get supplies today, but I've just picked up these, which are like mirror fastenings, and these are how I'm gonna put this pin board to the wall, sloping walls. So I'm gonna put one on all four sides to make sure it's really secure. So just a few days ago, this is what it was looking like, and this is what it looks like now. Wow. 
welcome to our understairs cupboard. We have completed it and I'm gonna be honest, about halfway through this space, I was really looking at it and thinking, I think I might just scrap this idea all together. But now that we finished, I come here all the time and just wanna have a little peek in because I absolutely love it. And honestly, how much it has changed our life when I used to come to the understairs cupboard and it was just, full of a mess, you couldn't find anything. I, as a person, just suddenly felt so disorganized and really stressed when I was leaving to like go out the house or coming back from the house or just trying to find the hoover. Now when I come to this space, I actually feel zen. I feel ready to leave the door. It makes me feel so much more calm. And I think we really underutilize these spaces in the house that are so important for storage and you go to every single day to use. And sometimes when they're not seen or they're not a room, you don't feel like putting that effort in, but it has been so worth it. Let me show you around. Okay, so just to remind you, this is where the cupboard is. It's underneath our beautiful Victorian staircase here. And it's just a tiny cupboard. And now when you don't open it up, it looks like this. Hopefully you guys can tell it looks quite a bit different. So I'll start with the door. So on the back of the door, we put this shoe rack, which takes six pairs of shoes. I imagine this being a bit bigger. So I actually think now I'm gonna put probably also some baskets up here just to be able to catch some extra things. Making use of a door in this kind of space is amazing because it means that you can hopefully keep some space on the floor so that you can actually walk in and be able to get around the corner. So yes, yeah, gonna be using this a little bit more, but obviously we can't do anything on this side because we also have the shoes down here and these are great. So this is Ollie's one and this is for our everyday shoes, but when they're not in use, they just lie flat, which is really nice. They come in a pack of four, but we've only been able to utilize two in here so far. And then we have our wellies. It would be great if we could get these outside, but for now, this is the best place for them. And then turning the corner, we have our hoover, we have a basket down here, which is just like a catch-all for things like hoover bags and bits like that. I have some paint that I still need to get off the floor. And then we have the um, shopping bags. I love having these here, just being able to grab them and then push them right back in. Hashtag <laughs> priorities, our picnic ba basket, which obviously in the winter, I'll probably change this out and um, maybe put a basket with gloves and hats and things in, but we do love picnicking, so. That's there for now. And then the memo board, which I feel like was the best idea. Obviously it hid the wall and it was not looking pretty. It really put me off the space. It makes the space feel way more homely and just a little bit more designed, but actually it's really useful, like more useful than I thought it would be. Obviously for now, we don't have the usual things that we'd have on here because most of the stuff that we'd put on here has our information. So delivery slips, parking tickets, maybe some mail or something that we need to put in here. And because we come in here every day to grab our coat and shoes, it is something that we actually see every day, but it's outside. As in, you can like visually see it, so it's not tucked away, but it's also in a cupboard, so it's not out in the house. Over here, we have this cute basket, which we're gonna put all of our umbrellas in. In the UK, you absolutely need umbrellas. We got all of these hooks from Amazon too. The wiring was something that we couldn't do perfectly because unfortunately in here, there are just if I can take you around, so many different wires um, and Ollie did his absolute best, but it definitely got it out of the way. This light we got for free because it was faulty. I don't know if you guys remember that, but yeah, that was a real bargain. And then obviously here we just have space to put all our coats or guest coats. And then the last thing which I've taped up because I didn't want it to look super orange throughout this whole video is that we have the light on a little switch so that it automatically turns on when you come into the room. So as the door shuts, it turns off and then it turns on. It looks so cute. I don't know, for some reason this space just makes me feel really, really happy right now. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you this, but can you see here, lights on, lights off. And then open the door, lights on. So clever. And if you made it to the end of this semi-bizarre makeover in our cute little understairs cupboard, thanks for sticking with us. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already, because it really helps support my channel and helps me make more videos like this. Well, maybe not many more like this, but hopefully some bigger rooms coming soon. I hope to see you in those other videos and I hope that you're all well. Bye guys.